Yo, hey, what's up? How's everyone doing today? This is Kiko. It's been a while. I've missed you guys and you guys are looking great from the other side of the screen. And yeah, I'm here to talk with you about, you guessed it, Pokemon. So let's talk about Pokemon. Recently, there's been some trailers about um, a new Pokemon movie, Detective Pikachu. If you guys haven't heard about Detective Pikachu, you gotta look it up, you know, because there's been trailers, people have been talking about it. Even if you're not a Pokemon fan, it's like all over the news, man. You gotta look up the trailer for that movie because it looks amazing. And I think when it comes out, everybody's gonna go watch it. So in the movie, Detective Pikachu, they have, um, you know, it's a real life action movie. So they have Pokemon, real life action Pokemon. And so far, like the Pokemon that they've been showing in the trailer, they all look really awesome. Like when I first saw Pikachu, I'm like, you know, Pikachu looks cute. It looks like the anime version, but like in real life. I mean, it's kind of weird that he talks, but I mean, it's still pretty good. Like, uh, I like how he looks, the design. And they released like Charizard, and Charizard looked awesome, man. You know, he looked like a beast. Mr. Mime looks kind of creepy, kind of weird, but even in, like, in the anime, he looks kind of creepy. So anyway, why am I talking about this? Well, the movie just got like recently announced not too long ago, but before the movie got announced, there was an artist, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of him, and I've talked about him here on my channel. His name is Joshua Dunlop, and pretty much what he is trying to do right now he's trying to recreate all the pokemon as if they were real life animals and he's trying to make like a pokemon zoology so then it kind of brings the question like comparing detective pikachu's you know real life action pokemon and joshua dunlop's realistic pokemon you know which one came out better well, that's a good question. So I am here to show you guys Joshua Dunlops and Detective Pikachu's Pokemon. There isn't that much to show because Detective Pikachu hasn't really released that many Pokemon. So what I did is I got pictures from both sides that have already released a Pokemon and we're gonna compare them. That's what this video is for, to compare them, see which one is better in your guys' eyes. And yeah, let's take a look. All right, so the very first one we're gonna be looking at is Bulbasaur, the very first Pokemon in the Pokedex. Now, it's kind of hard to see like, okay, between these two, which one captures the more realistic look. Well, honestly, Joshua Dunlop's Bulbasaur captured like the more realistic Bulbasaur, but the Detective Pikachu stayed like more faithful to the anime. So I like both of them, honestly, I can't choose like which one is better because I mean, look at them, like Dunlop looks like real realistic, like something you would see out in the forest. And the Bulbasaur over here just looks like straight up, like, you know, it looks realistic, but like something you would see in a movie looks cute. And it looks like he came out right out of the anime and now he's here for us to like cuddle and hold. All right, so before we go on to the next Pokemon, I kind of want to point something out. Um, we can't really compare and say which one is better because honestly, Joshua Dunlop and Detective Pikachu are like in two different categories. Dunlop is trying to recreate, re create the Pokemon as real animals and the movie Detective Pikachu is trying to um, bring the Pokemon out of the anime but still make it look like the anime. So Dunlops is going to be more like realistic animals while Detective Pikachu is going to be more like real life action. Like it's kind of hard to explain. I hope you guys understand. So the next one. The next one we're going to look at obviously Pikachu. So the movie version of Pikachu is cute but I like Dunlops version of Pikachu more. Like I just feel like it captures um, a realistic Pikachu you very very well all right next picture is a picture of charizard i know man like ah, both of these are hard to compare like i can't i cannot choose a favorite one here the charizard in the movie looks a little bit funky but like when you see him on the trailer man he looks like like he's like shooting flames he's like just flying over oh man like you just gotta watch the trailer just to see the charizard it just looks really awesome and then dunlops looks more realistic like a kind of like a dinosaur like a dragon i mean you can see the comparisons right there but again it's kind of hard to compare because you know one is like faithful to the anime and one is more like a reimagination of a Pokemon would look like as real animals. All right, so next up we got Jigglypuff. So in one of my previous videos, when I looked over uh, Dunlop's Jigglypuff, like uh, I didn't really like it because it looked kind of creepy, it looked kind of weird, it didn't really look cute like Jigglypuff should look like. But the movie's Jigglypuff, oh man, it looks adorable. And in this case, I would prefer the movie's Jigglypuff just because it looks like something like you wouldn't be scared of, like it's something like you want to play with. Well, the other Jigglypuff looks kind of like, oh, like something like that you would want to stay with from but i don't know like what do you guys think like you know what's your favorite you know give me your opinion all right next up is snorlax here's the movie's version of snorlax and dunlop's version of snorlax and they both look pretty good you know like snorlax if he was a realistic animal like i would imagine him looking like this you know like a big fat pokemon that looks like he wants to eat all the time and then the movie's version of snorlax looks like he just came out of the anime and he's just like sitting there or standing there blocking the bike path like what snorlaxes do all right next up we got flareon when i first saw uh 
Dunlop's Flareon. I liked it. It was cute. I accepted it. You know, like I, I could imagine getting that Flareon, walking it around kind of like a dog. But then I saw the movie's Flareon and oh man, like it just blew my mind. Like I was like, like straight out of the anime. Like I don't know what to say about it. 10 out of 10, you know, um, um, the movie did a good job at recreating Flareon in like the real life action. If I had to choose a favorite, gotta go with the Detective Pikachu one. What do you guys think? All right, now the last picture I'm going to show you guys is Mewtwo. Here's Dunlop's Mewtwo and here is Detective Pikachu's Mewtwo. Now when I saw these pictures or like when I saw um, Detective Pikachu's Mewtwo get released in the trailer, it reminded me of Dunlop's. Like they look really similar, like they got inspired by each other. The only difference I can really see is that Dunlop's Mewtwo looks a little bit more muscular and Detective Pikachu's Mewtwo looks a little bit more like, like he doesn't have like that much details, you know, it just looks kind of like slime. Like you don't really see that many details in his muscles or anything. And in the end, they both look really similar. I'm kind of thinking like if they had more details to the Detective Pikachu's Mewtwo, like it would look really legit. But I can't really choose a favorite here. Maybe you guys can choose for me. All right, so those were the comparisons. And you know, you could see kind of like the differences between like Detective Pikachu's live action Pokemon and Dunlop's realistic Pokemon. Out of those set, like which one is your guys' favorite? Do you guys prefer like the if Pokemon were real animals like in our world? Or do you guys prefer if the Pokemon came out directly out of the anime in live action and stayed faithful to the anime even if it looked kind of cartoony. Which one do you guys prefer? Now the question I have is did the movie producers slash artists get inspiration from Dunlop's artwork and is Dunlop gonna get inspiration from the movie's design slash artwork? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, like, um, you know, they stay true to, like, their own ideas or whatever. So, yeah, anyway, you know, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't seen the trailer, go watch it, man. Like, what are you doing? You know, go watch the trailer. Pokemon Detective Pikachu trailer. Boom. Get excited. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited for it. I'm going to go there with my popcorn, my soda. By myself, because I don't have any friends. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So, yeah, just, you know, drop a comment. And, yeah, see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.